Okay, today I'm here with Steve, who's our Six Sigma Black Belt Trainer, and we're just tackling some of the questions that our clients quite often ask us about various aspects of Six Sigma and the tools. Um, value stream mapping is another tool within Six Sigma and Lean, yeah. which we quite often get asked about, and again, quite often run uh, private training courses just on that element. We know that Lean and Six Sigma is about um, reducing waste, increasing efficiency, and taking away things that aren't of value to the customer at the end of the day. Um, and how does how does value stream mapping help with that, and what what is it? Value stream mapping has been done really to fill a gap in the in the lean toolkit. Mm -hmm. When we're doing a project, we do our um, uh, problem definition or our project yep. chart to define the scope of what we're doing. And a lot of people do a SIPOC, a supplier input process output customer yep. diagram, uh -huh. which really sets the scope of what we're doing. But you need a tool that gets you a little bit more information about the process, but quickly, yep. so that you can think about where you're going to focus your improvement mm -hmm. effort. And the value stream map is a standardised method for doing that. Okay. It's a way of looking at the process at a fairly high level. So you're going to look at between, say, 6 and 12 steps between the supplier into the process and the output. Okay. And it's applicable to both manufacturing when you're making widgets and to transactional and, okay. and office processes. Yep. And you look at the, the main steps of the process, and you look at how long they take, how long stuff takes between them, how much stuff there is in the system, how much inventory there okay. is, what yep. queues there are. You look at a value-added, non-value-added analysis of those, uh -huh. so you get an idea of how much work in the workplace is adding value to the customer, how much isn't. Okay. You're going to be looking at the control lines and how the information from the customer is fed back through the process and how the process is organised. So it gives you an idea of how complex or how straightforward the process is. Mm -hmm. And you'll also be looking at defects, things going wrong. And every workplace has problems, yep. mechanical defects in the workshop or defects in the office with forms and information. And, so on. Yep. and you look at how those defects are occurring throughout the process. Mm -hmm. And this is something you can do on an A3 sheet of paper with yep. a soft pencil and a razor. You can do it in about a day. Yep. You go into the workplace and with the guys there, guys or men or women, you walk through the process with them and you find out exactly how the people work, what they do, what the process steps sure. are. Yeah. And quite often I imagine you find stuff that's just done a certain way because it's always been done a certain way yeah. and people haven't stopped to think about yeah. is the customer actually getting yeah. Any benefit from, yeah. from the fact that we're doing this? That's what you find when you do the value stream map. It's a very quick tool. You can do it in about a day. But even when you're doing it, the people are doing it with you. Suddenly realise when you're asking them questions, they're realising that the things that they're doing perhaps aren't the most efficient ways of doing things, yeah. and they're doing things that really aren't terribly sensible, possibly. But anyway, having done the value stream map, you can get then get the team to look at that, and we can mm -hmm. see immediately what some of the improvement areas, like reducing queues, reducing inventory, yeah. reducing defect levels, simplifying the control structures going towards more of a pull organisation rather than push. And we can have potential projects in all those areas. And then you can use a project selection method sure. to say which of those improvement areas are going to most benefit the organisation, improve cost, reduce, improve quality, reduce cost, sure. shorten delivery. So you can so use a value stream map as a vehicle to identify lean project or Kaizen project or, or whatever, yeah. to, to areas where you can yeah. start applying lean or Six Sigma yeah. tools to make improvements. Yeah, generally what comes out of the value stream map is certainly some lean projects around reorganising the workplace and so on, driving out waste. But as you get a bit deeper, you'll probably want to know about defect rates and they may not have that information, so you'll start doing some measurements and you'll get into the Six Sigma side of things yeah. where you're collecting a bit more information about facts and data and variation. Mm -hmm. So the lean tools are probably the ones that you'll use first out yeah. of the value stream mapping, but you'll definitely get into six yeah. sigma tools. So you tackle the, the, the quick wins first, yeah. as it were, and then, right. then yeah. drill down in there. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Okay. Very useful. Right.